Hey guys, right now we're going to take a look at the Weather Channel Max application for the iPad. Now this is another weather application that I'm going to do a review on as part of my whole series of weather applications for the iPad. So let's take a look at the Weather Channel. Alright, so as soon as the uh, application boots up here, you're going to be greeted with a uh, kind of a simple little display here you're gonna have a little uh, menu bar here with a couple different icons on it and the first one here is gonna be maps and I'm finding that this application is a little sluggish um, running I don't know if it's just because it's very uh, you know data intensive and it's gotta communicate uh, with their servers a lot or if it has something to do with um, perhaps the size of the application or um, the stuff that's on my iPad already I don't know but uh, here you have a kind of a cool radar screen which shows a lot of detail um, and you can change the uh, overlays here uh, you have radar clouds radar on clouds temperature feels like um, your UV index overlay 24-hour rain and 24-hour uh, snow so I'll just go ahead and change it to 24 hour rain so you can see um, what it looks like with this overlay and then down here you have a uh, little um, key to show you what you know obviously the different shades of uh, color stand for in uh, inches of precipitation down here it's going to show you the uh, date and time that this map was updated and then you're going to have a little uh, familiar tab that you'll find in the uh, maps application that allow you to uh, adjust the trans uh, transparency of the uh, overlay as well as add points of interest to your map which is kind of cool gives you a lot of options to play around with there um, and up top you have uh, a um, little display that shows your current location and current temperature and what's neat about this is that this uh, stays with you the whole time no matter where you are in the application so we'll go to uh, local conditions again it takes a little bit to uh, actually change again, I don't know why that is it might be because of um, the amount of data it needs to collect from the servers perhaps my internet collect uh, connection but once that pops up you're gonna have a uh, little interactive um, display of uh, icons that uh, correspond to obviously the conditions expected for these days here and over on the left you're gonna have a little display that's showing your current condition or current conditions for your area Again, you have this uh, familiar bar up here, which, like I said, stays with you through the entire application. So, if you wanted to quickly put in a different location, or you know, check your location using the GPS in your your, your 3G iPad, you can do that, or go to your bookmarked locations, and um, basically, you can scroll through here and see your. I guess that's about seven days and uh, check out the weather conditions expected for the next seven days down here you have obviously a sponsor ad over here on the left and then you have a little uh, shortcuts to the radar screen you have a video um, tropical update you know some news you got some twitter updates and down here you have uh, the third icon over on the menu bars video which is basically just going to bring up a uh, a screen with a selection of videos that you can watch um, from their website. Then you have a uh, severe tab over here, which is going to show any and all active uh, National Weather Service alerts for your location. And right now I have none, so it's not going to show anything. It's just showing a uh, an ad here that's it's actually not an ad it's a little news bulletin I guess about a uh, hurricane that's forming in the uh, Atlantic well maybe that's 
the maps of the Atlantic, but the actual news is about the Pacific. And then you have a little social tab over here that's going to allow you to uh, monitor, I guess, all of their active Twitter accounts that's associated with the uh, Weather Channel. You have the Weather Channel, you have uh, their meteorologists and correspondents. You can view all their Twitter entries within the application, which is kind of cool. So it's kind of also like a little uh, um, Twitter application, obviously only for Weather Channel content, but that's still cool. Then down here you have a on TV tab. We'll see what that does. I actually never clicked that tab. I don't know if it even does. Oh, I guess it's just, it's more, uh, this is weather news, I guess, from around the country. And first, it's going to have to show you, obviously, a sponsor ad. And uh, so that's basically it. I mean, this is a, it's a pretty neat application. It offers a lot of information. It's got a uh, pretty simple user interface, easy to follow, easy to understand. I don't really like the ad support, but then again, you know, they got to get some kind of money somehow. It's better than paying for it, I guess. So that was a quick review of the Weather Channel application for the iPad. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for more application reviews and other videos that I'm going to be doing. And uh, please subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks for watching.